this may be the next big thing. Any Corporal 3 can benefit from this feature. That's the best thing. People do not have to learn anything. Because we are Corporals, we do not stop with the ordinary. So please let me introduce you the new ECG Max. ECG Max is the next generation when it comes to diagnostic ECG. ECG Max gives you not just the standard 12 lead diagnostic ECG, you get 22 leads and the best thing is you get those out of your 10 electrodes. Is it easier and complicated to learn? What, what would you say? That, that's the best thing. People mm -hmm. do not have to learn anything. I mean, yeah, the placement of 10 ECG electrodes for a diagnostic ECG, that's important. But that's something people have been doing for years, and that's second nature. Besides the regular 12 lead ECG, you also get the posterior leads V7, V8, and V9. And you also get the right chest leads, which usually take a lot of time acquiring, but you get your V3R, V4R, V5R, and V6R without spending any more time on scene acquiring this 12 lead ECG. On top of those leads, you also get your X, Y, and Z leads and the vector loops. Someone wants to know, can it be integrated in an existing Corpul 3, the 22 lead ECG? Yes, it can. As we said, the computation of those additional leads is not done in the device itself. It's done on the server. So basically any Corpus 3 capable of 12 lead ECG and transmitting it to such a server can benefit from this feature. So the placement of those is important and then just out of the data set that's included there, that's where it's being calculated up to the 22 leads as well as the cardiac electrical biomarker. So extremely easy, additional information and especially if it comes to the CEB, very, very easy to interpret. The cardiac electrical biomarker helps you to identify ischemic changes within the myocardial muscle in real time. And at the same time, it is as easy to interpret like a traffic light. Green, the patient is fine. Orange, you may have to consider that something could be wrong with the patient or the patient is developing some sort of symptoms. And red, this is definitely a patient that needs to be looked at closer and most likely transported to a hospital that has, for example, PCI capabilities. The CEB is definitely a lot faster, even when you compare it to hypersensitive troponins. And at the same time, more specific, especially when you compare it to hypersensitive troponin levels. This all sounds like it's something of the future, but it is actually proven technology. There's a lot of evidence which proves this way of transforming a normal 12 lead diagnostic ECG into 22 leads, as well as calculating the CEB.